Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few new things to show you that I've purchased. So first I got these Nouveau Jewel Drops. I think now I've got all of the Jewel Drops, which is good. The Jewel Drops are kind of translucent with a hint of colour in them. So they give you more of a softer look, whereas the crystal and the glitter, especially the crystal, they're more opaque. So you've got a much stronger colour. I won't go through all of the colours. I'll leave the links to the Tonic website so you can check them out. But um, I'm pleased to have got more of the Jewel because they're the ones I go to the most. So um, yeah, these are some really lovely colours. So there's the Jewel and then so these are all the crystal drops that I got. So you can see what I mean about there's the Jewel and then there's the crystal. It's a lot more opaque in colour but when they're on offer it's the best time to get them i've already gone through two of these this is the simply white so i've got more of that in time for christmas and i've only got the the other yellow i've got is different this is dandelion dandelion yellow so it's nice to have the two different colors that one there's a metallic again that's a metallic that's caramel cream you can see the metallic ones you can see like the shine coming through but yeah just some more of the crystal and then these are the glitter ones I've got. You can see all the glitter in them. Again, a couple of these are repeats, like White Blizzard. I've gone through two of those. So I've got another one because it looks lovely as snow. And I think this one, Gold Coast. This is the second one of this one that I've had. I do use my Nuva Drops. They are, uh, you know, something that I use on most of my cards. So for me, um, yeah, I like to have as many colours as I can get. Dazzling blue, that one looks really nice. I love that one. That's going to look lovely for Christmas scenes. And this one here is Glistening Skies again. Look really nice. So I'm going to pull all my like Christmas kind of glitter ones to the front. And that one there is Silver Crystal. So again, will look quite nice, you know, mixed in with these. Those, look, those two look good together. There you go. Those two actually for a nice Christmas scene. So that's all the Nuvo drops that I got. And whilst I was on the website, I also picked up two of the Hollow Waves. So it's a holographic card. I've never had the Tonic holographic. So it's 250 GSM, you get five sheets, high gloss mirror card, acid and lingam free. And then I saw this one, and again, this I'm pretty sure it was in the sale, that's why I got it. Turkish turquoise, it just looks so nice. Again, that's gonna look lovely for Christmas cards with that colour there that's the aquatic mist I think that looks really nice together so I thought I'm gonna give those a go as well then I went to Hobbycraft a couple of weeks ago and um, they've got some really good Christmas stuff in at the moment just tons of well in my store in Plymouth when you go in on the left it's just tons and tons of Christmas stuff so I picked up these different like embellishments to go on my cards i loved these little um like letters to santa claus the little wooden ones and they've got the foam on the back i've got these wooden trees and i've got those felt trees there and then these are little wooden candy canes these were all a pound each and then these are little felt snowflakes again with the foam on the back there not felt sorry they're they're like a they're padded really really cute they've got absolutely tons in there <laughs> so much to choose from but i just those ones jumped out at me especially this one here i thought they'd look quite nice together so i got those and then i saw this well actually my mum saw it and she said oh look it's the string that you make to go on your gift bags so in my very old tutorials about three years old i um i twist the paper to make the handles on your gift bag but here they've they've just called them paper string but i thought how good are these going to be for gift bags so i want to say they were a pound you only get one of each color let's see how much you get now oh, plenty not more than enough for well you definitely got two handles you could probably even get two lots out of that in fact if you cut that in half yeah you've got enough there that's easily one and um, two handles from that piece there so four in each color two pairs if that makes sense so yeah i just thought that just seemed really good and it's paper so it's going to be easy to stick on the inside of the gift bags and stuff and i'm going to be making a lot of all of that now back to doing my packagings and stuff ready with um you know christmas fast approaching so yeah, if you can get them, I definitely recommend it. I mean, you can make it. I've got the tutorial showing you, but to have all the different colours, 
just easy and quick and it was inexpensive so definitely worth getting if you see them there then on to craft stash i just i'm always looking for new sentiments i love having different stamps and dye sentiments in my stash so the craft creative craft products they have these ultimate sentiment packs so i've got this one here which is birthday and celebrations so I'll take it out of the plastic there so you've got time to celebrate make a wish you only get better with age wishing you the happiest birthday I like that one it's a really nice size um sip sip hooray put on your dancing shoes that's a nice one let's eat cake birthday boy birthday girl you've got all others there as well and then this one is caring thoughts with love and hugs life is tough but so are you hope you find strength with each and every day get well soon with deeper sympathy whatever tomorrow brings i'm here for you that's nice Brighter days are coming. Yeah, just thought they were really nice ones. And then new adventures stamp set. New year, new beginnings, exciting times ahead. I hope love moves in with you. That's nice. Good luck. Um, and then you've got in your new home, so you can mix these up. You did it. Enjoy your retirement. Just a note to say new job. Congratulations. And so the adventure begins, time to make new memories, you've passed. Yeah. And then these are dies with the outline. So you've got special occasions and family favourites. So you have, I can't read these back to front, but you've got congratulations, best wishes. That looks like retirement, graduation. Um, I'm going to say new baby. With sympathy. Get well soon. Wedding day. <laughs> I can't work out the last one. But you'll see them on the, the website anyway. And then these ones here, family favourites. So you've got new home um, just for you. Valentine's Day with love. Happy birthday, all those ones. But it's just, it was more to have, like I said, the outline die with them. And I think some of them are going to work quite nice together with these as well. Yeah, happy birthday, you could have in the die and then let's eat cake, for example. So anyway, yeah, got those. So creative craft products. Just have some new ones in my stash. And then a couple of new magazines. So I got the Creative Stampin' Issue 100. I know this is very, very popular. It's sold out in most places, but you still can pick it up in some of your superstores. But this, with it being the 100 issue, you get this bumper set and you get four Crafters Companion stamps. So you get... This one here, which is Enchanted Christmas. You have this one here, which is the Snowflakes collection. This is your Cute Christmas. And then this one here is your Nativity. So you get those four stamp sets there. And you've got some lovely images. I've already used these three in the Silhouette tutorial. But I look, I'm looking forward to using this one here. I love the Father Christmas image. And look at the little snowman on the skis. The little penguins, super adorable. So I'll be using those in a future tutorial. So yeah, you get the four sets. And that is issue 100 of the Creative Stamping, which I love, the 100th birthday special edition. And then this one here is the Tonic Kit 15. Whenever I do any commission work, I always get sent the magazine for free. So I did feature in this one, but I'll show you exactly what you get. It is very cute, actually. You get this lovely snowman die here that you can build up. You can see how he looks on the front here. And you get the stamps as well. You've got the little face stamps that you can, you can see there. You can stamp different expressions. And you get this stencil as well, which has got the snowflakes and you can build the scenes with like the, the hills and stuff, which is really nice. So it's a 21 piece die set. And then these are the papers. So these are uncoated. So you can ink them, you know, stamp directly onto them if you want. You've got all your different sentiments there that you can cut out. You can stamp in these ones here. You get quite a lot in there all these bits you can fussy cut then the more papers there as well and then just to give you an idea of some of the inspiration i won't go through too much of it because it will give it away but you can see how the snowman looks there 
He's just really, really cute. I haven't actually seen my own commission in here yet because it's the first time I've opened up the magazine. Let's have a little look. So these are the ones that I did. I loved this one here. I wish I could get them back, but I can't. But I used the stencil and some of the Nouveau Mousse with the snowflakes. And I cut the sentiment there, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And then the snowman, he will move from side to side. He, he's your wiper snowman. It's a really lovely card. I'm going to have to recreate that one again, but I show you how to make it there. And I do have this tutorial, not using the snowman, but I'm using the hot air balloon. So I do have it on my channel. And then I've done a wobbler. And you can see there the spring. So I've done a wobbler snowman. And then this snowman here spins. So there's the string running through the front there and he will spin around or she will spin around. It's a really lovely set. I did enjoy doing these ones, but yeah, I'm now seeing it there. I think I'm going to have to re redo that one again. And there's the embellishment mousse. It was that color there that I used actually on the snow there. So yeah, so that's number 15 of the Tonic Studio magazine kit. And then lastly, I've got these two Paper Craft Society kits. It's 22 and 23, but I have, well, will be doing separate unboxings for both of these here. So once I've done them, I'll link them up here. But if you just go to my Paper Craft Society playlist, you'll see all of the ones there as well. But I know lots of people do like to see the unboxings of these because a lot of them do go into open stock. Um, so you can really see what's inside and um, decide then if it's something that you would you would enjoy this one here um i did do again some of the commission work for and it's a really lovely one this is in conjunction with the mind charity so it's all about mental health and it's just beautiful with all the sunflowers and everything and then this one here was done by crafty individuals you can see the beautiful colors this is a lovely autumnal one so i'm looking forward to to using those and um starting to make some nice projects and uh yeah but this one i cannot wait so but there'll be separate unboxings coming for those so that's my craft haul to show you definitely head to hobby craft if you've got one near you they've just got such a big selection of christmas stuff and really good value for money as well so if you want to get a couple of little bits and pieces look out for the unboxings of these individual kits and um, yeah, I'm going to go and organise and put away all of my Nouveau drops. I think my next project's going to be using this stamp set here. I really want to start colouring that Father Christmas in. So anyway, thank you for watching as always. I will link as much of the product that I've shared with you today in the description box below. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.